do you want to reserve your name in just five minutes okay so whether you're looking out to uh, register your business name or company name this is the ultimate uh, video that will be able to assist you through that journey okay so all you have to do is you start out by going to a search uh, your browser okay so once you reach your browser you get to type in URSB okay so once you put in your RSB, you're gonna go ahead to click on your RSB on their website. The website will get to display. Okay. So once that's displayed, uh, there are a couple of services. Okay, there are e-services and the forms. Okay, forms and the about us and the home. Okay, but for us, we are interested in the e-services. So once you reach on the e-services, you come to business and company registration, then you head. Uh, search for name reservation okay so on name reservation we get to click on name reservation and then ultimately the page gets to display okay it takes some time to load but uh, just have to be a little patient so depending on how fast your internet is you definitely get to load ultimately so the, the guidelines are there they're pretty straightforward and those guidelines are what I'm going to uh, take you through okay so um basically the first step is to make payment in the bank so you make twenty thousand payment and you tell them you want to book them reservation okay so you can either use dtb or um finance trust bank those are the two banks i've so far used uh but you can i think all banks can do it but though i haven't tried the rest okay so the once the page has loaded this is how the page turns out to be it is um it has all those blank spaces okay which you have to fill out so for the uh, purpose of this, of this tutorial, I'm going to fill out Kato James and then uh, you get to put in your email, okay? So all those spaces that have his red hysterics are, uh, are mandatory to be filled, okay? So you can just leave out those that don't have the red hysterics, but uh, those that have kind of like those red hysterics, those have to be filled, okay? So you get to fill in your uh, phone number because uh, uh, in the due process, they get to send you some messages, uh, notifications, telling you how far the process has reached, okay? So uh, nature of the entity, you get to select nature of the entity, whether you're registering a business, uh, you intend to do a registered business name or a company, okay? uh this is where you, you make the selection from okay so I'll just select company here but if you're planning to register business name and select business okay so the type of uh entity uh will do a uh, company limited by shares okay and then um then we'll get to follow through and then so here the same change of name no i'm not changing the name uh renew of expired name reservation no i'm not i'm not doing a uh, i'm not doing a renewal okay so uh we then so you get to indicate no okay so payment reference number you come and look for it here so once you made payment to the bank they give you uh, a receipt which look an e-receipt which looks like this so the prn is already written there me have for the purpose of the tutorial I've just uh, I, I, I i covered it okay but uh, for you your number will be there it already starts with a two two okay then now uh, you can fill the rest of the detail just copy them directly from your receipts okay so and then also get to indicate the amount the amount is twenty thousand ugandan shillings okay and then you can get to attach so you attach you can either the many formats that are accepted it can either attach an image or a pdf so whichever is convenient for you is what you go ahead and attach okay so i, I already have it here in a png form okay or an image format okay so i'm going to attach it so once you have attached it uh uh you, you, you once you have attached it, then you can go ahead and uh put in your name choices okay so the choices have to be in the order of priority okay so whichever you want it to be like an order priority means that you want the first consideration to be given to the first choice and second consideration to be given to the second choice respectively okay so once you've done all that you'll click on submit application so i'm not going to submit application here because of, this is just a demonstration okay so once you've so once you've submitted you get a notification on the email that you get, you, you put in there they get to 
uh, notify you that the application has been received okay so if you got any value from this video please like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe okay so the, after that you then definitely get a notification the name reservation successful so once the this is ultimate this shows that now your name reservation is successful they get you they get to give you the name reserve they get to give you the name that is reserved and all the other details in your email you can go ahead and pick the physical document or certificate if you want